Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 in between episodes. Absolutely nothing happened. I actually just came back here because we're going to continue with the main story today. I was told in the combats that I should kind of distribute my blades a little bit more. And that's not completely false. Morag still needs more like tanky blades. Everyone else has the same amounts for Tor. Anyways. Uh... Oh yeah, I need to get better at using my combos. Apparently... I didn't know this, that when you switch blades in combat, they keep their special level. I, I I thought I tried that earlier in the game, and I thought it didn't work like that. So that's why when I was like, man, I really need a wind element to finish off this combo. Too bad I don't have one right now, even though Rock was sitting there. It's because I didn't think I had enough time to actually, like, get Rock out and build out his uh, his special. Anyways, what was what else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, Tora. Dog. Why are you in my group? No offense, how do I switch this? I need to go over here. I think I would realize that by now. You've been my my party like this whole game, Tora. Give, give more act some time. Uh, there's some shops up here I don't think I've been to yet. I actually haven't been up these stairs yet. I don't think I want to... Well, I have two of these. Not that I think that this will give me a store. I probably definitely have to do a lot of merc missions over here. To develop it at the very least but why not I have a lot of money like that's an understatement right now uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna need a lot more in the future but as of right now I'm pretty good wait a minute did I see no more blades no more war what does that mean? No more blades, no that more war. Zeke, you are here! When the hell did you get here? Protest. The refugees have really been going at it since last year or so. Oh, where did you come from? I'm glad you, you acknowledge that. Swim, yeah? Did blades do something wrong? The Praetorium is single-handedly responsible for doling out core crystals to other countries. Though... Sometimes the likes of Dougal and Banner grab a piece of the pie. Therefore, Indol has the power to control war itself? That's one way of looking That's at it. That's a pretty big at least. power scale there, I guess. It's about much more than just blades and drivers. I know that, and you know that, but that doesn't mean they're going to accept it. That's true. What's your name? So. There's a lot of... Gormotti here. They fled the Gormotti War ten years ago. But here they are, refugees still. Yes, they're a funny old lot, you know. We feed them, we water them, and this is the thanks we get. Water? Water them? Don't these ruffians know that manners cost nothing? I swear, you lend these people a hand and they want the whole bloody arm. It's easy to disregard things beyond your control. And direct your anger at targets closer to hand. Hmm. Do you have something to say? Not I really. killed your mother today. Out with it. Wait, no, that's baby. Something else to the mother. I don't want to repeat More that one. Titan. It's dying, and everybody knows it. That's why they... Why you need Gormot. Our population is large. Larger than Uriah's. But you don't have the resources to support all those people. You are astute for someone so young. Us salvagers pick up more than just artifacts. Like, not you pick daft. up debt! I know fine words alone won't change reality. So you seek Elysium. Is that wrong? No. I was just reminded how young you are. Oh, burn! Still, if it's Rex, or people who are on about justice with no solutions, I'm betting on Rex. I must admit, I do respect the boy's drive. Ah, I'm just stumbling my way forward. That's not wrong. <laughs> that is not wrong at all. Also, can we go back to Bridget for a second? She is going to sound really weird, but or or really accurate. It, it seemed like she had something in between her boobs. I. I'm okay, sorry, I'll come back. Maybe next 
cutscene or something. It looked like a scar or like a a jewel or something. Not a core, I don't think. It might have been a core, actually, now that I say that. No, it was like too small. It was like, eh, whatever. We'll see it in the future. Probably. Maybe? Could have just been Shadow. The game was kind of weird when I loaded in today. No land, no no textures whatsoever. It's done that before, but only in the uh, Garfont Village. Merc Base, whatever it's called. You can just come here for sites? I mean, okay, I guess if they don't annex you, it's alright. Yeah, they do seem to have a thing against Blaze, but I'm sure it's gonna be something we go into in the near future. Where are we going? Going up? Probably go upstairs a little bit more. Let's, uh, just run around, see if there's any treasure, see if there's any side quests. We should probably check for side quests, huh? I see no side quests. I do see something down here. That, uh, it might be below, actually. I think it was below. I don't think the draw distance is going to get it. I like the clouds. I like the environment. Actually, environments in all these Xenoblade games have been fantastic. That's the head? They say if you throw your money into the cloud sea from high above, your wish will come true. Can I do that? I want to... Good job. Throw money. Sure. I like wasting money. Goodbye, 500 gold. I mean, you always gotta start off gently. Oh! Some, someone mentioned that. Can I do that? No. I think someone mentioned that... Uh... Perun? Is that you? That might be you. Yes, you're right there. Uh, I think someone mentioned that... Someone mentioned if I threw money, someone's affinity was gonna Don't grow. Let me get rusty. Wait, did you say let you get rusty? Actually, I actually didn't want you in my party. I wish I could share my luck with everyone. I'm glad you can't. You're a scary lady. Where are you? There. Infinity. A new path is opened before me. Okay, so it must have been that then. Okay. Well, good. I'm glad I did that. I should really look at your stuff eventually. I want. I want to switch up some of these blades in the future, but. I mean, I need more over override protocols for that, and I they're rare. I'm not sure if they're a limited stock, or if they're just like something that requires farming later on in the game, or a lot of money later on in the game. I'm hoping for the money one, because that's very easy to come by. Um, but if it is farming, that's fine. If it is limited, at least I can release blades and put them back in the pool. I'd rather not do that, more but... Back. We'll see. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. Rex is the one who woke up Mithra. And I think he appreciates what that means. And? It's just that, well, you're not doing anything to stop us. Why is that? Because of Adam. <laughs> Are you working for him? Years ago, he became this great hero who we celebrate even today. But I know him only through legends. A chance to see what his blade is capable of. Oh, myself. that the guy that had the Aegis before. Never mind. So here I am. You know I'm not Adam, right? I'm Eve. But you are the Aegis's driver. The second you're under Imperial control... Okay, she has nothing in between her boobs. Never mind, I think it's just a shadow. Huh. I'm not sure I follow. People with great power should be their own masters. Is that what you mean? Close enough. You can interpret it that way if you like. <laughs> Even the mighty Flamebringer can be bloody hard work sometimes. 
Can't you just admit the real reason? I don't like what you're implying. What, what's the real reason? She's taken with me? That would be a far stretch, you're right. The inner Praetorium is beyond this gate. Here you will find the main administrative facilities. With your permission, I'll show you to your lodgings. Dope. This is... Serez Plaza? Uh, wow, it's pretty huge. Busy, too. I dare say many people gather here on religious pilgrimages. Precisely correct. Many people arrive in Indal when, uh, with each coming day. The building you can see ahead is the Indolin Sanct a Sanctum. Impressive, isn't the half of it? How'd you like it, hmm? Really makes you appreciate the majesty of the Praetorium, right? Where do you get off sounding so proud, Shellhead? It's magnificent. Truly magnificent. Rooms have already been made ready for you. You'll find them in the, to the left as you enter the Sanctum. We get to stay in big fancy building! You are our honored guest here, after all. Oh, we're honored now. Quite amazing! Now then, shall we go? You got any more weapon shops up here? That seems like a good fit for like a religious place. Hello, informant. How are you doing today? Uh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Those are probably important. Make sure you didn't get anything new there. Anything on the map yet? There's a quest! And something over here! Okay, still no quest. Where was this other quest? It was right over there. So through the pathway... And to the left! That's a talking guy. There's the quest. Oh, it's behind. Oh, it's a little girl. Used to practice singing. Okay. I need to adjust my seat or move my TV, goddammit. You know, I've... <laughs> ever since I got this new mic, I've been, like, looking up and hurting my neck at the TV because I'm sitting, like, closer than I really should be. Camera there. Mithra, sorry. Um, so I gotta move this or something and move it down. It's it's nailed and all screwed into my wall. Which is annoying. Ah, oh, well. The, the, the fact that it hasn't fallen off my wall yet is actually impressive. I thought this said Metallica for a second. Hi, Melka. Uh, uh, who are you? Uh, is something wrong? Oh, you're not one of the locals. Thank goodness. My name is Melka. Uh, my mother was orphaned in the war and she raised me here in Indol. So, although I'm Gramati, I've never been to Gromart. Lately, there's something that's been bothering me. I feel like someone's spying on me all the time. I was accepted into a choir of Indol just recently, and I think that's when it started. Well, it's driving me a little quite crazy. <laughs> wow, that sucks. <laughs> if you would be so kind, might I ask you to help me identify the culprit? You would? Really? Thank you so much! Uh, maybe you could start by asking around among the locals? Just bring me up casually in conversation and see if anyone knows anything. I'm sure the culprit must be someone living in the city, otherwise I have no idea why they would. I'll be waiting, waiting right here, so please let me know if you find anything. Okay. Because she could join Metallica. I guess we'll put this one active. We got just three people to talk to? Who's the closest one? Oh, four people to talk to. I guess we'll go up first and then jump down and go all around. We shouldn't trigger the next event thing up there. Now we're way far away. Hey, Henny. Uh, you're not like that girl, are you? I guess I can tell you then. There's a girl that I've been spying on. There's a, there's this girl I've seen spying on Melika a lot lately. There was something nasty looking, some nasty looking guys with her too. I tried to get closer and find out what she was up to, but she gave me the slip. Wish I could have tell you more, but that's all I got. Okay, so there is a girl who is spying on her. 
and she has some nasty looking people with them. That's great. I'm sure that won't end up in a fight. Hello. What? You want to know about Melka? She joined the choir on Vindal recently, you know? She was the only one in this whole camp who pa uh, passed the audition. It's really prestigious to be in the choir. Only the very best singers are allowed to join. When you're in the choir, you get to sing at official ceremonies, like when they're moving the Titan and stuff. Is that all you wanted? See you around? Oh, thank you for nothing useful. Well, I guess that might be a motive. Maybe jealousy? That she was chosen over other people? Maybe? Probably gonna talk about that lady later. Hello, Serge. That is your real name. Melika, what about her? I don't know that much about those fancy choir types. Though I could tell you a bit about the choir itself. Apparently, once you join the choir of Indol, you're basically set for life. Dope, can I join? I mean, it's a it's an official branch of the Praetorium, so naturally they get special treatment. Uh, us refugees don't get much in the way of opportunities, so lots of folks dream up of joining. Of course, I didn't make it past the audition. My mom and dad were so disappointed. Anyways, that's all. Uh, that's about all uh, the info I've got. Well, sorry that you've disappointed your parents. Good luck! Next! Roni. You seem different. You're... you're Gramati, so... You're looking for info on that, uh, choir girl, Melika? Hmm, sorry, but I don't really know a lot about her. Maybe you should try asking the Urian girl, Albina. She's a refuge and kept saying she's going to make it into the choir no matter what. But I haven't seen her around lately. Not sure what she's up to. It is jealousy. That's about all I know, I'm afraid. I like how Vest yelled at Nia for not saying thanks properly. Hello. You really should check if people are hungry before you offer them food. Oh, did she offer them a dumpling? Ha <laughs> Finally, I'm here! An Indolin Sanctum. It's everything I've imagined. Why, one gigantic work of art. I told my husband in Argentum I had an important trade deal to negotiate. He's never had it. Uh, he's never let... Uh, he's never have let me visit otherwise. Uh, I wonder how much the carvings on his single pillar are worth here. Oh, but that's the merchant in me talking. Silly me, you can't put a price on this kind of magnificent artwork. Alright, well, you should probably like divorce your husband if he doesn't allow you quotation marks to go anywhere uh, again so um how did your investigation go so there was an uh, urine uh urine girl in the refugee camp who was trying to get into choir just like me albina albina i can't say i recognize the name but there was only one open spot at the last audition. I guess because I passed, she must have... Could you come with me for a bit? I'd like to meet this Albin and talk to her in person. I mean, we could be your bodyguard, sure. It'll be alright. I can handle it, as long as you're with, with me, I mean. Uh, I want to talk this over properly. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna have to kill her buddies, I'm imagining. So we gotta go... Back a screen? Or no, back there. Okay. To the informant. The informant giving out information on Melika. It's very rude of him. You're not wrong. Is he just doing his job? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna kill those people, and maybe that little girl. That's a lot more people than I thought. Dude, why do you? Okay, no, I was gonna say, why does your generic look so much not generic than mine? Um, hello. Are are you Albina? Melika. I never thought you'd come to me on your own. I was just wondering when the best time would be to go and take you out. To take me out? You don't mean you want to kill- Huh? I thought you knew all that already. Isn't that why you hired these drivers to protect you? No! These are just some kind people who offer the help. I just wanted to come and talk to you. What's to talk about? If it weren't for you, I would have made it into choir. I hate you so much, you witch, you pig, you dirty little- uh. If it weren't for you, I if I could just get rid of you, I could have everything I deserve. I could get out of this hellish life and live like a respectable person. 
I could give my mom and dad the rest and cover they need. But violence isn't going to solve any. Oh, but it will. If it's going to change my life for the better. Oh, and if it's going to change my life for the better. Uh, I'm a refugee from Rye, you know. I know people in the mercenary biz, and once I kill you and join the choir, I'll have the cash to pay them off. You know we're around people, right? With the way you're talking, they can hear you. Like, pretty sure if you end up killing her and us, you're going to jail. And they'll probably execute your parents for the fun of it. Once I explained that, they were glad to help. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to make you all disappear. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna kill every last one of you. I played Tales of I played Tales of games, so I'm not afraid to murder a child. Okay. Time and you're just the you you're just the axe man. Well, I'm an axe man. Um, so you're gonna die. As long as you're not a chroma katana guy like the last one, which apparently they're all assholes. <laughs> From what people are saying, they're all assholes. So that. I mean, that still kind of hurt her. Oh, I should have comboed off of that. You're not wrong. We can do a combo. Oh, no, 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 no. We gotta do this. We gotta get from behind. Oh, that was fantastic damage. Okay, get up to level three so I can use that. There it is. He's gonna die now. He's blocking it. That motherfucker is blocking it with his shield. Okay, he's dead. Kill the girl. It's the only way to be sure. Worry not, the situation has been taken care of. We, we, we lost. Do you want my sword, Melka? What am I gonna do now? I have to join the choir or I can't. I can't take any more of this life. If it weren't for you, I, I... Albina, I don't know what kind of hardship you've been through, but I don't think it's right to join the choir in search of an easy life. Do you think Praetor Amalith... Yeah, that's the guy. Would want people to sing at his sacred ceremonies for a, re for a reason like that? What are you saying? I, I'm the one in the wrong here? That was never up for debate. You try to kill her. You were always in the wrong. Oh, I get it. You think I'm just not good enough to make it to the choir? No, you probably suck too. I'd like to demean my enemies if you haven't told, like figured that out. Yes, that's what it. What I. Uh, that is what I think. Just because you got lucky, you got some nerve. I'm. I'm not trying to boast about my own skills. I just think. Go on, say it. Convince me if you can. If you think you can. I don't think the Choir of Indol exists just to provide wealth to its own members. I think the Choir exists to enrich the hearts of everyone who hears it, its own members included. To join the Choir, you need to be able to wish for the happiness of others and turn those feelings into song. Those feelings are why the songs of the Choir resonate with the people. You can't bring happiness to anyone by singing while thinking of only of selfishness. Okay, well, I mean, maybe in this world, but don't listen to, like, all the music in this, <laughs> this world. That's why, um, I don't think, and I don't know how to say this. Well, how am I meant to argue with a speech like that? Damn it, Malika. I'm sorry I tried to kill you. Uh, is that going to be it? Are you going to go free? No, no, I'm the one who should be. No, you're not. You should not be sorry. She tried to kill you. You should be, like, leading the guards to her and watching her get fucking dragged away in chains while you wave. You know, you know the super thing? I love singing too, I really do. So I guess I'll try again? No, I'm gonna tell them what you did, and they're gonna like, ban you for life. Maybe that way I can get- nah, fuck both of you guys. No, we're done. I don't- I don't care about these NPCs anymore. I should've let her kill you. That way you all would've failed. I- I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless at how stupid that quest ended. 
Oh, she tried to kill me, but she had a change of heart. I'm sure this will be fine. Fucking NPCs, man. Like, God. God, JRPGs sometimes. Is that it? Are we done? We're done? Okay, good. Well, that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you head to my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your life. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.